calling all budget-minded gamers. Are you ready to conquer your favorite titles without breaking the bank? Finding the perfect balance between affordability and performance can be tricky, but fear not. In this video, we'll unveil the top 5 best budget gaming laptops of 2024. We'll break down the specs, features, and price points to help you find the ideal machine to crush those in-game challenges. So, grab your headphones, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive in. 1. Acer Nitro 16 First up, design. The Nitro 16 isn't the slimmest or lightest gaming laptop out there. It's got a bit of a chunky look, with a black plastic chassis and some red accents. It's not the flashiest design, but hey, for a budget laptop, it feels sturdy enough. What really impressed me, though, is the display. This is a big 16-inch, 16-10 aspect ratio screen, which gives you a little extra vertical space compared to most laptops. It's bright, the colors are vivid, and the 165Hz refresh rate makes for super smooth gameplay. No complaints here. Speaking of gameplay, let's talk performance. Now, the Nitro 16 comes in a few different configurations, but the one I got has an AMD Ryzen processor and an NVIDIA RTX 4050 graphics card. This combo is a great value for the price. I was able to play all my favorite games at high settings without any major slowdowns. Even some newer, more demanding titles ran smoothly. Of course, there are some trade-offs with a budget laptop. The battery life isn't amazing. You're probably not going to be getting a full day's work out of it on a single charge. The keyboard is decent, but the keys feel a little mushy compared to some higher-end laptops. And the speakers are, well, they're laptop speakers. Not the best for serious audiophiles. But overall, those are minor quibbles. For what you're paying, the Acer Nitro 16 offers fantastic performance, a great display, and a solid feature set. It's not going to win any awards for design or portability, but if you're a gamer on a budget, this is a serious contender. 2. MSI Katana 15 First Impressions This laptop isn't the flashiest. It's got a sleek, minimalist design which I actually kind of dig. Feels sturdy though maybe a tad on the heavy side. But hey, all that weight must be packing some serious power, right? And it does. MSI shoved a brand new RTX 40 series graphics card in here, which is pretty impressive considering the price point. I threw everything I had at it, from the latest AAA titles to some graphically demanding indie games, and this katana sliced right through them at smooth frame rates. No lag, no stutters, just pure gaming bliss. The keyboard is another highlight. The keys have a nice amount of travel and a satisfying click, which makes those intense gaming sessions much more enjoyable. Plus, the backlighting adds a cool touch, though it is a bit limited in terms of customization options. Speaking of limitations, the display is… well, it gets the job done. The colors are a bit muted, and the brightness could be better. But hey, for a budget laptop focused on performance, it's not a deal-breaker. Although, if you're a creative professional who needs a super vibrant display, you might want to look elsewhere. Another area where the Katana 15 falters is battery life. Don't expect to be unplugged for hours on end. This is a gaming laptop, after all, and the power it offers comes at a cost. You'll be tethered to an outlet most of the time. Overall, the MSI Katana 15 is a solid choice for gamers on a budget. It packs a serious punch in terms of performance, has a comfortable keyboard, and looks decent enough. However, the display is just okay, and the battery life is pretty weak. So, if those are priorities for you, you might want to keep searching. But if you're looking for a powerful, affordable laptop that can handle all your gaming needs, the MSI Katana 15 is definitely worth considering. Just remember, you'll be living the plugged-in life. 3. HP Victus 15 First impression? The Victus 15 isn't the flashiest laptop out there. It's got a clean, minimalist design which some might find sleek, but others might call a bit boring. Still, it feels well-built. It's surprisingly lightweight for a gaming laptop, which is a big plus for anyone who wants to take their gaming on the go. HP also gets points for using recycled materials in the chassis, which is a nice touch. The display is a 15.6-inch full HD panel with a 144Hz refresh rate. Now, for a budget-friendly laptop, the visuals are actually pretty good. Colors are decent, and the 144Hz refresh rate makes everything feel nice and smooth, especially during intense gameplay. The bezels aren't the thinnest, but they don't feel super intrusive either. Alright, let's talk about the real star of the show here, the performance. The Victus 15 comes in a few different configurations, but the One I have sports an 11th Gen Intel Core i5 processor and an RTX 3050T graphics card. Now, this isn't going to blow the doors off the most demanding games, but you can definitely play most modern titles at 1080p with decent settings. If you're an esports player or someone who prioritizes frame rate, the 144Hz display will definitely come in handy. Just keep in mind, if you're a streamer or someone who does a lot of video editing, you might want to consider upgrading the RAM to 16GB because 8GB can feel a little limiting. The keyboard is, well, basic. It's not terrible for typing, but it doesn't have any backlighting, which is a bit of a bummer for night owls or gamers who like to play in low light. The trackpad is alright, 
It's responsive enough, but some folks might prefer a larger one. The Victus 15 has a good selection of ports, including USB-A, USB-C, HDMI, and an SD card reader. Battery life, however, is this laptop's Achilles heel. Expect around four hours for light tasks and even less for gaming. So you'll definitely want to keep the charger handy. So the HP Victus 15 is a solid budget gaming laptop. It won't win any awards for design and the battery life could be better, but it offers decent performance for the price, especially if you can snag it on sale. If you're a casual gamer or someone looking for a good all-around laptop that can handle some gaming on the side, the Victus 15 is definitely worth considering. But if you're a hardcore gamer who needs the absolute best performance, you might want to look elsewhere. 4. Dell G15 5520 First impressions? The G155520 isn't the slimmest or lightest gaming laptop out there. It's got a bit of a chunky aesthetic, but that also translates to a sturdy build. All plastic construction, but it feels well put together. Nothing creaks or flexes, which is important when you're in the heat of a game. The display comes in a few options, but the one I have here is a 1080p 120Hz panel. It's bright, colors are decent, but some reviewers have mentioned higher-end options with better refresh rates. If you're a super competitive gamer, you might want to look into those. Alright, let's talk about the real star of the show, performance. This laptop is packing the latest 12th gen Intel processors and NVIDIA RTX 30 series graphics. In my testing, it handled most modern games at high settings with very playable frame rates. But keep in mind, this isn't a top-of-the-line machine. If you're chasing ultra settings and ray tracing at every turn, you might need to adjust your expectations a bit. Thermals are a bit of a mixed bag. The G155-20 does get warm during intense gaming sessions, and the fans can get worrying. It's not unbearable, but if you're someone who gets easily bothered by fan noise, you might want to consider using headphones. The keyboard is okay. It's got backlighting, which is a plus for nighttime gaming, but the key travel feels a little shallow. For casual typing, it's fine, but for long gaming sessions, an external keyboard might be more comfortable. The trackpad is decent, responsive enough for everyday use, but for gaming, you'll definitely want a mouse. Let's be honest, battery life isn't a strong point for most gaming laptops, and the G155-20 is no exception. Expect a couple of hours unplugged at most. You'll be tethered to the charger if you plan on any serious gaming sessions. One positive here is upgradability. Dell allows you to get to the RAM and storage pretty easily so you can add more down the line if needed. That's a nice touch for a mid-range machine. So, wrapping things up, the Dell G155-20 is a solid mid-range gaming laptop. It offers good performance for the price, a decent display, and the option to upgrade. However, the keyboard could be better, it runs hot under load, and the battery life is pretty weak. This laptop is a good option for casual gamers who don't need the absolute top-of-the-line specs. If you're on a budget and prioritize performance over portability, the G155-20 is definitely worth considering. 5. Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 Let's start with what you care about most, performance. Now, the IdeaPad Gaming 3 isn't going to blow you away with top-of-the-line specs, but it packs a punch for the price. I got the version with a Ryzen 5 processor and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 graphics card. It's not going to run Cyberpunk 2077 on ultra settings, but I was able to play most modern games at medium to high settings with smooth frame rates. Speaking of smooth, the 120Hz refresh rate on the display is a nice surprise at this price point. It makes everything feel super responsive, whether you're gaming or just scrolling through the web. The downside? The actual display itself isn't the best. Colors can be a bit washed out, and the brightness isn't amazing. If you're a creative professional who needs a color-accurate screen, this might not be the laptop for you. But for gaming, the refresh rate definitely makes up for it. The keyboard is another highlight. It's got a nice amount of travel and feels pretty sturdy. Plus, the backlighting is a nice touch for those late-night gaming sessions. The rest of the design is pretty standard gaming laptop fair black plastic with some aggressive vents on the back. It's not the most mind-blowing design, but it gets the job done. When it comes to ports, the IdeaPad Gaming 3 has a good selection, including USB-A, USB-C, HDMI, and an Ethernet jack. That means you can easily connect all your peripherals without any issues. Battery life is about average for a gaming laptop. I was able to get around 4 to 5 hours on a charge with light use, but that number drops significantly when you're pushing the graphics card. You'll definitely want to be near an outlet for extended gaming sessions. Overall, the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 is a great choice for budget-minded gamers who are looking for a laptop that can handle most modern games at decent settings. The 120Hz refresh rate display and comfortable keyboard are nice bonuses, but the SOSO display quality might be a deal-breaker for some. If you're looking for a more powerful machine or need a color-accurate screen for creative work, you'll need to look elsewhere. But for casual gamers who prioritize affordability, the IdeaPad Gaming 3 is definitely worth considering. So, you've seen our top picks, but the choice is ultimately yours. Consider the types of games you play, the features most important to you, and of course, your budget. 
With the knowledge you've gained here, you're well on your way to finding the perfect budget gaming laptop to conquer all your virtual quests. Level up your gaming experience without maxing out your credit card. Remember to check the description below for links to the laptops featured in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments, and if you enjoyed this breakdown, give it a thumbs up. Happy gaming!